Welcome back learners. Today we are going to dive into the fascinating world of list comprehensions and explore how they can simplify your code. Specifically, we will be uh, tackling a problem involving 3D coordinates on a grid. So buckle up and get ready to level up your Python skills. All right, let's take a look at the problem we will be solving. Imagine you are given three integers, x, y, and z, representing the dimensions of a cuboid. Alongside that, you also have another integer, n. Your task is to print a list of all possible coordinates on a 3D grid given by i, j, and k, where the sum of i and j and k is not equal to n. And here is the catch. We want to accomplish this uh, using list comprehensions rather than multiple loops. This way we can sharpen our comprehension skills while solving the problem efficiently. Let's dive straight into an example to understand the problem better. Suppose we have x equal 1, y equal 1, and z equal 1, and n equal 2. Our goal is to generate a list of all possible coordinates on the 3D grid, where the sum of i and g and k is not equal to 2. Take a look at this code. We have four input values x, y, z, and n. The code uses a list comprehension to generate the desired list of coordinates. Let me explain how it works. First, we have an F statement within the list comprehension that filters out any combinations where the sum of i, j, and k equals n. This ensures that we only consider the coordinates that don't sum up to n. Next, we have three nested range functions that iterates over all possible values of i, j, and k. The range functions are defined based on the given dimension x, y, and z. Finally, the list comprehension creates a list of lists where each inner list contains three integers i, j, and k. Now let's see the output of this code for the given example. As you can see, we obtain the correct result where the sum of i, j, and k is not equal to 2. To reinforce our understanding, let's move to another example. This time we will take x equal to y equal to z equal to and n equal to. Our task remains the same. Generate a list of valid coordinates on the 3D grid. Here is the updated code for the new example. The input values have changed but the logic remains the same. Let's see the output of the example. And there you have it. The list of valid coordinates for the new example. Congratulations! You've successfully learned how to use list comprehensions to solve a problem involving 3D coordinates on a grid. List comprehensions are powerful tools that allow us to write concise and efficient code. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep honing your skills, and I will see you in the next lecture. Happy coding!